So I'm a Brooklyn Yankee in the future King Prince Wilhelm Alexander's court. This is the letter to His Royal Highness Prince Wilhelm Alexander. So the idea is uh, to apply molecular technology to modify fertile eggs and make a hereditarily stable transgenic orange pheasant flock. Uh, this project has the potential to alter the course of future human evolutionary history as well. We could make royal aesthetics in the human genome forever. And it'll be a kind of pheasant mania. I'm pushing the keep it in. Very nice. Letter to the Royal Highness. Nice. All right. Oh, here comes trouble. Whoa. We like your chicken. <laughs> uh, the regels zijn dat er geen fietsen mee moeten en een uh, kaartje besteld uh, gekocht moet worden. En dan kunt u het bos in. If we want to go and bump into Her Royal Highness Princess Maxima, who is walking around with the little princesses, we have to take a lift. So what shall we do? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like a good leak. Uh, I say we pursue the princess. Why not? <laughs> What do they call the princesses princesses? Are they mini princess or micro princesses? Heb je Maxima ook gezien? Want die moet ergens rondlopen daar. Nee, dat heb ik niet gezien. Ah, jammer. Nou, ze komen Maxima op de bakfiets met zo'n bak voorop. Twee kinderen voorin. En Amalia bij de oppassen achterop. En twee van de meisjes. In de, op de fiets, op de fiets erachter. erachter. Ja, daar lag daar een, en daar ergens lag er een, lag er een vrouwtje. Die was helemaal dus. geplukt. Alleen de pootjes en het kopje lag er nog. Ja, en een heleboel veren. Ja. ja. Oh, die zit al in het verband. So we're bringing today a present for the prince. Oké, okay, nice. And a letter. We sealed it. Look at that seal. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. You have uh, some uh, ID. We have a, the standard letter to the prince kind of thing, you know, like rolled up and stamped. And it's an invitation to create a transgenic, royal transgenic pheasant breeding facility at the University of Leiden um, to breed maybe orange pheasants. And then like tulip mania, we can make Royal breeds that are signature, signature pheasants for hunting. If, if the prince actually wants a transgenic breeding program for royal pheasants at the University of Leiden, I think he has to go through Parliament for it to be allowed. There would maybe be a debate uh, whether or not you're allowed to make transgenic organisms just for hunting. Uh, because it seems frivolous, although it's tradition. And maybe uh, hmm, we're all hunting all the time in one way or another. Also, we have to continue with tulip mania into pheasant mania in order to keep up sort of the royal Dutch tradition of, uh, you know, this is, this is the future, man. I'm checking it and I'm uh, writing down uh, the stuff, uh, his name and uh, all the stuff. Thank you. It goes directly into human engineering. And so if we can make you know, a two-headed orange pheasant, we can make a two-headed orange human, you know, and this would be like a signature human, maybe um, to imprint the human genome with royal aesthetics, which to me, I mean, somebody's got to have good taste. Here's to style. So yeah, it's ready to hang. Just, huh? uh, no, just No, where I'm wrong, a little you, bit you will get. First to you. Yes. Okay, so we'll make some it. crazy uh, pheasants. Yeah. Okay, hold a little bit there. I really want to make transgenic pheasants. I want a royal transgenic breeding facility. Yeah, why not? No, I want to shoot them and I want to eat them. That's my main goal here, come on. 
Maar dat ook over voor uh, fazant? Ja, nou, hij, wilde, hij, wilde dus, hij wilde dus nu uh, de Villa Alexander aanbieden om oranje. En we vonden dit nog op het terrein. Kijk. En, ja, ja dat, is van, dat is van een jager waarschijnlijk. Nou ja, ik weet niet, we vonden het <laughs> wel de, voor interessant. Voor de oranje fazanten. <laughs> dat doen we nog een keer zo. <laughs> Kijk, dit, dit, vonden, dit vonden we trouwens op het terrein. Kijk aan. Nou, dat is van een jager. Dat is voor de oranje fazanten misschien. Toch? I'm a representative of the PTLO. I'm here in front of the Hague War Crimes Tribunal to represent four pheasants. And we're thinking of starting the Pheasants War Crime Tribunal here in the Hague. And of course we want to stop all pheasant hunting because it's genocide. But Adam Zaretsky with his plan for the Royal Dutch Transgenic Pheasant Production Facility at the University of Leiden He's wanted, he's our number one wanted man for torture. Not just genocide, but torture in the making of transgenic pheasants. This must be stopped. What are these mutants? Who are they? Why have they been born? But the broken arrow is replaced by a sprout and the guardian over all this here in The Hague is this beautiful black top-hatted executive aristocrat with a fan. Aristocracy.